Good evening, afternoon, morning, night, whenever you're watching this, welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today, we're going to talk about the nervous system. You know, that complex network of neurons, nerves, and tissues that work together to coordinate and control the body's activities. Now, if you actually think about it, the nervous system is kind of like your body's Wi-Fi network. It is constantly sending and receiving signals to keep everything connected and running smoothly. And just like any good Wi-Fi Wi-Fi network, it utilizes routers and different channels to make sure that every signal reaches its destination. So let's take a deeper look at this biological network to better understand the different subsystems and their functions. But before we go on, don't forget to get the guided notes that go along with the video to make sure you don't miss any key concepts. So our nervous system can be broken up into the central and peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system, also known as the CNS, is made up of the brain and spinal cord. The CNS integrates information from different body systems. The brain is responsible for processing sensory information, controlling motor functions, thinking, emotions, and regulating bodily functions. While the spine acts as the communication highway, connecting the brain to the rest of the body. On the other hand, the peripheral nervous system, or PNS for short, consists of different nerves that branch off from the brain and spine. The PNS is the communication network that connects the CNS to the rest of the body. Our nervous system is able to deliver messages back and forth thanks to afferent neurons and efferent neurons. Afferent neurons, also known as sensory neurons, send signals from the sensory receptors to the central nervous system. While, on the other hand, efferent neurons, also known as motor neurons, send signals from the central nervous system to the peripheral nervous system. These neurons are really easy to mix up. So just remember, afferent neurons send signals to the brain and spinal cord, while efferent neurons send messages from the brain and spinal cord. If you need help remembering this, try to remember that afferent approaches the brain and efferent exits the brain. A for approach and E for exit. When signals are sent from the brain, the PNS is what relays the signals to the different body parts, allowing them to perform their specific functions. For instance, let's say you decide to move your hand and click that subscribe button down below. Your brain is what sends the signal through the spinal cord to the PNS, which then carries the signal to the muscles in your hand, causing them to contract and produce movement, resulting in you joining an amazing online community of psychology learners. Yeah, welcome to the community. You did it! All right. All right, let's go back to the video. Now we can break the peripheral nervous system down into the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. The somatic nervous system, also known as the skeletal nervous system, includes your skeletal muscle movements and your five senses. These movements happen consciously and are also voluntary. Whenever you go biking or play video games, you're using your somatic nervous system. You consciously push the pedals with your legs or press the buttons with your controller, all of which involves your brain sending signals to your muscles to move. On the other hand, the autonomic nervous system controls involuntary activities. This system makes sure you keep breathing, keeps your heart beating, your stomach digesting, and all those other wonderful wonderful bodily functions that happen in the background that you need to survive. The autonomic nervous system also allows us to reach homeostasis. It provides stability for our internal environment. Now, the autonomic nervous system does have two divisions, which work together, especially in an emergency. The first is the sympathetic division, which is sometimes referred to as your fight or flight response. The sympathetic division is what gets your body mobilized and ready for action. This makes your heart beat faster, your eyes dilate and increases your breathing. It also slows down your digestion to allow for more of your energy to go where it is needed. The second division is the parasympathetic division, which is sometimes referred to as rest and digest. The parasympathetic division is what slows your heart rate, increases your digestion, and helps you focus on saving and storing energy. All right, now comes the important part. Practice. Go to my ultimate review packet and read the different scenarios and questions to identify which part of the nervous system is most likely being utilized or impacted. Remember, if you get a question wrong, no worries. I included explanations for each of the different scenarios and questions. Also, don't forget when you are done answering the questions on the screen to check your answers in the comment section down below. 
As always, I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time online.